Members of the internet have come together in an effort to get vigilante justice against an alleged dog abuser. Now, the woman in question has a Facebook page under the name of Katie Brown. However, some reports indicate that that's not necessarily her real name. She posted a photo of her adorable dog in an unfortunate situation. Uh, the dog's muzzle is duct taped, which oh. is actually a very, very dangerous thing to do to dogs. Um, and also, the caption says, this is what happens when you don't shut up. Now, as soon as that was posted publicly, of course it went viral. Over 300,000 people shared it within days. And uh, authorities in the area that she allegedly lived in were contacted immediately. Now, her Facebook page indicated that she lived in South Daytona. However, uh, she no longer lives there. Apparently, she moved over a year ago. At least that's according to what her family says. Um, however, the authorities are saying, look, uh, you guys need to get off us because <laughs> this is becoming overwhelming. The South Daytona Police Department received hundreds of calls from around the state, uh, country, and world, including from Canada, Germany, and Australia, which spurred them to investigate the case. Uh, they also released a statement saying, our email server has gone down, our station computers have gone down, and out phone lines are having issues due to all the attention. Wow. They urge people to stop contacting them because they said that they're already investigating it. And also, at this point, it's out of their jurisdiction because this woman no longer lives in Florida. Yeah. Um, now, the incredible part of the story is people online felt so passionately about this that they did their own investigation, and they somehow successfully found that she was in Connecticut. So they contacted local authorities Anonymous. in Connecticut <laughs> to get them to investigate it. It's it's such an amazing story. Wow. So far, we have um, no evidence that she's been arrested or anything like that. So I guess we'll see what happens in the future. But it is a pretty yeah. amazing story. Can we can we put the picture of the dog back up? Oh, I can't imagine putting duct tape on a dog. That's crazy. Not to mention the fact that I mean, God, I don't know what the weather was like, but dogs pant to regulate their body heat. Mm -hmm. So if you just shut their mouth and they can't do it, then they have a much harder time actually regulating their body heat, they could die. It's amazing how men, look, there's, there's activism on the internet, but there is little activism that springs into action so quickly as yes. when you do something to an animal. Yes. Like Cecil the Lion Man, that was one of the biggest online gatherings ever of people trying to, to deal with that. Uh, we had, I think we, we talked about doing, I don't know if we actually did on the show, there was the dog that was locked in the car in like Beverly Hills. And like crowds were forming to, yeah. like they wouldn't do that if an old woman was locked in the car. But there's a dog, they're like, oh, symbol the masses. All of our I empathy, love dogs, but I, we, we really love dogs as a society. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I feel like we've now reserved all our empathy for non human living things. Yeah. It's true, it's true, because there's so much ugliness out there, especially if you watch the news or cover the news, and it makes you start to believe that people are just inherently bad, yeah. which isn't true at all. Um, but we look at animals as innocent, as helpless, as loving. So many of us have dogs, and they're a huge part of our families. Yeah. Like, I'm thinking about other photos that have gone viral. Like, there was obviously, there was the very young Syrian refugee child who drowned, and like, people reacted strongly to that. As a country, we still say keep on all the Syrian refugees. So apparently that is less powerful than this. I absolutely love dogs. My dog is a huge part of my life. But it's also amazing how fundamentally we di we discriminate against some animals but not others. That like, if this dog had duct tape put around its mouth for a little while, which is bad, don't do it. 300,000 people have shared it. They're call they're tracking down people. There's an inter there's literally a national manhunt or woman hunt, I guess. International for this. <laughs> Possibly international, but we showed that video of the hogs being slaughtered when they were fully conscious and just throat being slit, another throat being slit. Then they're dragging them by their mouth along the floor. Is there a manhunt to get those people oh, fired? That's such a great like point. certain animals, man. We can slaughter them like in ways you'd normally only see in an episode of Game of Thrones. Totally fine. And I say this as a meat eater. I'm hypocritical the same way everybody else is. But you put duct tape on a dog's muzzle, and the posse goes loose on the internet.